everyone, it's Lisa here and welcome back to my channel. So today we are building another micro home and this micro home here is for the not so berry challenge and in particular for the first generation because the first generation includes everything which has to do with the color mint. So I built this micro home with the color mint in my mind. It doesn't look like that right now but I'm gonna add some color later on like just in some in a bit I think uh, and yeah so this is for the first generation of the not so berry challenge and if you're not sure what that challenge even is it's a gameplay challenge basically I think Lil Simzy actually developed this challenge and you can just google it I think if that's the easiest because I've never played that challenge and I have no idea how to explain that to you and therefore just uh, look it up on google <laughs> I think that's the easiest um, but I heard from a lot of people that it's a fun challenge and yeah so if you want to try that out try it out yourself i think it could be a lot of fun and yeah so it's all about colors in this challenge i think and the first generation has mint so those of you who are maybe a little bit longer here on the challenge like some months ago i think i started this little series where i did like color themed micro homes and I did that without something like the not so berry challenge in my head but some of the houses were actually also kind of suiting for that challenge um, but just because of the color and not because of the items or anything that I placed down uh, but I got a comment recently I think it was like some days ago where someone mentioned that they loved those houses that I did and I was thinking oh my god I love them too and I have to do something like I want to build something like that again and then I just thought okay I think I want to do all the houses for the not so berry challenge and that's what I'm gonna do now I think I'm gonna start with the gen one which is here the mint one and the next house will be the generation two one obviously and I think this one is gonna be rose and after that there might be yellow but I'm not sure I am yeah I read through the rules of that challenge like quickly but um, not every single thing and stuff like that. I only read the ones for the first generation in detail because I really wanted to add suiting items to the interior so yeah I think I placed down this item with those elements that you need because you need to like fulfill this element collection and I also placed down science related items because the sim in the first generation is supposed to be a scientist and yeah so stuff like that i also gave them a computer because that's also something you need so i really like considered what your sim needs for this kind of gameplay and everything so that you don't really have to add anything but of course if you feel like there's something missing just add it and it won't be a problem at all just uh, yeah you know you can always like customize your builds a little bit so that it fits perfectly so but back to the build so yeah that's what the build is about and yeah <laughs> so here you can see that i'm working a lot with the terrain tool actually or not a lot but quite a bit and yeah it's a tiny lot it's just a 20 by 15 and it's a new crest i haven't mentioned that it's a new crest and new crest is a world that came with base game and ever since the pond tool since we got the tool i feel like i'm using the terrain ter terrain tool more often and I think that's amazing because I was always scared to use it because it's really, it can be quite difficult, I think, or like it's, I don't know, it can be quite tricky and I don't know, I want to like get better at that. So I'm really happy that I decided to just use it more often and yeah, so, but the problem is that those hills, I don't, I don't like how they look normally and like if you build on a small lot like that on a 20 by 15 lot you cannot really smoothen out everything and it will look weird i think so um i try to cover up those harsh edges with uh rocks and plants and i think it looked kind of nice so yeah i also added some fishes into those ponds later on and there are also some frogs and everything so I actually really do like how it turned out. I think it's a quite a cute home and it has everything that your sims needs and yeah. So now I'm just doing some more of landscaping and just adding plants everywhere. So uh, yeah, some of the romantic garden stuff, plants 
plant the flowers. I think there are flowers, yeah. Uh, at first I was thinking I want to make the flowers also mint colored, but it was quite difficult to find flowers which were like mint, I think, because mint is a color. It's quite difficult to like, I don't know, you cannot really filter the game by mint, you can only filter by green and blue and that's what I did some like a couple of times to just see more items and just, yeah, you know, just see different items because normally you don't see all the swatches from those items and yeah, uh, but I decided against using some kind of bluish colored flowers because I didn't want to, the color to be like too overwhelming. I like... You can see that the house has definitely some kind of mint touch to it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's amazing that we got those colors with the cats and dogs pack because the door and the fence, both of that, both of that is from the uh, cats and dogs pack. And I think that's pretty perfect for that kind of house because it's just all the, also the windows, like they are also from that pack and they make everything more minty. So I think that's perfect. And I was really glad to use them. <laughs> I think in my last mint micro home I did, I also used them. So I'm sorry if those two houses are maybe a little bit similar, but I was just in the mood to build something like that again. So that's why I did it. And yeah, I don't know. I think the most it's to me it's the most important that I'm having fun with what I'm building and yeah <laughs> so yeah also the, do you see this little frog at the lake not lake it's not a lake <laughs> at the pond it's not even a, like it's really small um but uh yeah there's a, this little frog and that's that's I can't talk at the moment I'm sorry so this little frog there is from the backyard stuff pack and you cannot see it right now anymore because I'm decorating the porch right now but I still want to talk about that because that frog is super cute and in life mode there is like water coming out of the, his mouth and I think that's super cute so I really wanted to use it and it also came in the perfect color so Yay! So now I'm just adding some items to this front area here and I decided to use some hanging pots because they are adorable and look cute. And yeah, now I'm doing the backyard and there is also not too much going on. I just gave them a, like outdoors the eating area and also a barbecue, I think, and that's it for the exterior. And actually those chairs, they came with cats and dogs as well. I think they're perfect because they have this really vibrant mint color. And yeah, also in the front, I placed on this chess table and there I used the same chairs. And I think this is really useful because you also have to get your logic skill up in this in this like kind of legacy challenge. And oh, is it even a legacy challenge? I don't know, like, yeah. Uh, but anyway, so <laughs> I decided to add a chess table there because it's uh, useful because you have to get your logic up. But anyway, so enough for the exterior because we are coming to the interior now. And this is a really small hallway, like this entry thing. It's, yeah, it is really cool small but <laughs> I still wanted to add something some kind of entrance area here so there it is <laughs> and there's just the middle and this umbrella rack but it is functional I've play tested every single thing in this house I think I did at least yeah I I play tested everything so everything should work and if something is not working then I'm sorry and I don't know what to do about it but sometimes the gallery is a little bit buggy and a little bit weird but luckily you don't have to add the move object cheats anymore to download my builds because that's something you had to do before. But I think with some kind of recent update, uh, they included that in the gallery and I think that's amazing. Uh, but also they kind of, I saw that on Twitter today, like I'm, I'm, I'm pre-recording a little bit at the moment, not really pre-recording, but I think it's, it's a Wednesday today and this video goes up on Sunday. So it might be a little bit of pre-recording, but I'm not home for the weekend. So therefore I'm just doing it now. But today on Wednesday, I saw on Twitter that they are doing some kind of stuff to the gallery and they announced that it's going to be like down for a couple of hours or minutes or whatever. And I didn't realize that because I don't know, my gallery wasn't working anyway, I think. And therefore I just... I don't know, I didn't miss any notifications or stuff like that. Uh, but they said that they're working on the gallery on something and 
I think that's quite interesting. Maybe they are gonna do something about the gallery and make it better. <laughs> I would really much appreciate that um, because the, bello, bello, the gallery is so buggy sometimes. But um, yeah, just a little side note that I saw on Twitter today. <laughs> but I don't know what that means. So don't like I don't know anything. Just don't don't interpret too much into my words. <laughs> just some speculations and hopes. But yeah, so. Now we are decorating the kitchen and I'm already cluttering it up. So yeah, I'm using the, wait, what pack? The Dream Home Decorator pack. That's where the kitchen is from, yes. At least the counters and the cabinets. The stove, I think, is from Parenthood and the fridge should be from Discover University, yes. And I think this coffee machine on top of the fridge is just perfect, it's so cute and it matches with the color and yeah so i hope the mint color is not too overwhelming for you <laughs> i really try to make it as natural as possible because i don't like those builds which are just like if you make a color like a color themed build which are just like just in that color <laughs> i wanted to have a good like in between of everything so i added a lot of white and stuff like that so i'm really happy how it turned out actually i i like it also this area here uh, i really like to line up those different books to each other so that they look different because if you line up the same books to next to each other to me that just doesn't look right because it's so repetitive and it all i don't know for me it's just not it <laughs> so therefore yeah uh, but i do it like that and i'm so happy that the ones from the how's it called cottage cottage living yeah the cottage living pack they fit perfectly with the other books so that's really nice like a little thing that I'm happy about. <laughs> and you can also, yeah, you could have seen that I did some switching around with the like little office area thing and this element board thing, which you have to like complete if you're doing this challenge. Um, yeah, I moved that into the living room because I wanted to give them a TV and like that it worked so yeah i'm actually quite happy how big the house is from the interior <laughs> you have a pretty decent size bathroom well, not decent size but it's it's okay it's not too tiny and also a kitchen a dining an indoor dining area and a living room and a bedroom so i think that's really nice so everything you need and also an office so the office is like in a hallway but doesn't matter i think because it's functional so yeah <laughs> so it's only for one sim if that wasn't obvious already because there's only a single bed but anyways i think we are almost at the end of the video so if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up i would really much appreciate that because that really does help me out and you can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already because that's also helping me <laughs> surprise yeah uh, so i would really much appreciate that if you consider that and I think, yeah, you can download the build from the gallery. My ID is SunnySimsyYT. And the tray faults are on my Patreon, which is linked down in the description box. I always feel like I'm forgetting something when I'm saying like in the end of my videos and my voiceovers. But yeah, I think that's that was it. So I hope you do enjoy the screenshots. And I also created a sim. Oh my god, I forgot to talk about that. But I created a sim for myself for that challenge. Like, I'm not planning on doing that challenge, but I had fun creating a sim for it. So you will see her in the screenshots. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. And I hope I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.